What's up everybody, how y'all doing today? Welcome back to another Off-Road Outlaws random builds video, and today, you see, by the title, we got another garage tour. Because, it is episode 100 of the random build series. Boy, has this series been going on for a while. It really just picked up at the beginning of this year, like where I started to go crazy on it, I think. Or it could have been last year. I don't know. Not really sure. But there will be two episodes today because, well, I mistakenly made <laughs> a build video before this. But luckily I didn't post it, so I'm going to make this and then release this one. And then like maybe like an hour or two after that one, release another one. So there will be a garage tour. Which is this one, and then a random builds video coming like right after it. So, this is the vehicle that we built in that random builds video. The late one of the, the latest like car show builds video. I got a lot of catching up to do on this team stuff. But we got this truck with my signature uh, wrap design. Scoot on over. We got the monster bug. One that I actually just got done redoing the wrap on it. Dark Wolf Racing, Redneck. And then just adding a few random things here and there. Then we got the, uh, you know, what did I call this? The Rat Rod Mud Truck, which this thing is just a beast at what it does. So then we move on to the Halloween Crawler, which we did recently. It, for the Halloween Special. Which this thing, it is very good. Very, very good. Then we got the uh, trail rescue rig. Oh, my voice. <laughs> Which used to have actually a pretty good tire tune. It used to be pretty sticky tires. But kind of lost that tune over the updates. And yes, it was, it was lifted like this when I had that tune. Mm -hmm. And now we got the earthquake again because it zoomed out in the wrong spot. Then we got Monster Max, which was basically my take on it. But since last time y'all saw this, I added just the white beadlocks to make it well, sort of like the real life one. So basically, sooner or later, I'm probably going to do another version of this. Where's the dually version? Or I might just do like, have version 1, which was the just original with the not white beadlocks. Then I'll do another one, which was with the Boa White beadlocks. And just a little bit more stuff, I don't know. And, uh, then I'll do the dualies, like, have three versions and whatever he does next to it. Which probably won't be too long. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll do whatever that is. Make that version four. I go into storage. We got... Hmm, which way do I want to go? Once it loads in, I'm just going to go through this. Because I like doing it through here better. So, then we got... Oh yeah, Flat Nasty. One of the other ones that I've built by Bruce Wilson. Which is another one that... Had fun with Whistling Diesel. Whistling Diesel's Monster Max and then Flat Nasty. <laughs> one of the best two combos. This was actually when I did my first combo build, I think. Other than the trailer and truck. Then we got the uh, Monster Jam style Cybertruck, which this one's actually pretty good. It's decently fast, it's got good suspension, and it's got all-wheel steer, which I still suck at. <laughs> Yay! And then we got the X3 race style, which this thing is not to be messed with. This thing is not to be taken lightly, whatsoever. As it's pretty fast, and it also looks pretty good as well. Then we got, I think this is the Scout ATV that I built a while back. Basic, but fast. Then we got, I think, the American Bike, which is one of the videos that was in the Random Build series, like, around when it started. Which, the tune that's in it now was the original tune that was on it when I built it. I just also want to admit that that chain is, like, terribly... <laughs> and then we also got the, uh, oh yeah, I remember this, the Frostbite Snowbike, which 
the name goes pretty well with this, because if you remember, I have Frostbite the Mustang, which is one of my best builds to date, other than the uh, Doomsday Cuda, which is right here. Got the Doomsday Cuda V3. In other words, V3 stands for version 3. And this thing, it is fast, and it's got, and it's pretty good. I still got a few more tuning to do on it, just a little bit more. And then, dial it in. Then we got Frostbite. By far my favorite out of all my builds. I just love the way this wrap turned out. It, it just turned out perfect. Perfect as can be. This is basically one that I built way back, and it used to have a completely different wrap design on it. And I mean completely different. It, it wasn't even remotely close to what this looks like. Then we got the Raptor Trophy Truck. This video is going to be so long. Then we got the Raptor Trophy Truck, which is this one. This one was more of a ghosted vehicle. I'd say, because I still haven't, I don't think I've done a build video on it yet, if I have, I'm just being a dumbass and not remembering, which I, would, which I wouldn't doubt that, got, got a little bit of tuning to do on this thing still, I've gotten better at it, way better at it since the first day so I used to start tuning, and then we got the channel truck, which is due for an update, I will say that. It still looks good, but I think we could do better. Might take a little bit of inspiration from Frostbite. And then we got the Toyota Hilux trophy truck. This thing is this thing is pretty good as well. Actually, a lot of my builds are pretty good. No, I wouldn't say the wrap was the best on this. This was a basic wrap, and then I just put my Basically, my logo on there. <laughs> Basically, my signature wrap. And also, we're over to the Rally Nova now. Which, this, recently, I redid the entire thing. I redid the suspension tune, the a little bit of the wrap design, and the tires combination and stuff. I never did a video on it because I'm going through off-camera... Redesigning all my rigs that I want to redesign and retune them all, and then I'm going to do videos over them. Because it takes up to like two hours to get one perfect. Sometimes. And then we also got the drift truck, which looks completely different now as well. And I really like this new version of the drift truck. And I hope y'all do too. Because this thing is just cool. I like the rap, the way I did the rap and the way I did the wolf thing. Kind of like a Deadpool thing. Yeah. Then we got the Rally Baja Bug. Yeah, different words there. But this thing, this thing's also not to be taken lightly. Because this thing is fast. There's, a, there's only one other bug that's beaten me so far in this, and that was Walker. And it's been a while since I raced him. So I don't know how fast this thing is. It also kind of comes down to the driver. But I'd like to say I'm decent. Well, I know I'm not the best driver, but I'd like to say I'm pretty good at it. Probably never change in the wrap either. Now, I might add on to it, but I ain't going to change it too much. As he said, it's when, like, later down the line, he changes it completely. <laughs> just imagine I, I can just imagine I change it down the line. Also, that glitch is still there. But we got the racing side by side, but shoot. X3 race style, racing side by side. <laughs> Just stupid. <laughs> but hilarious. And this thing might not have the best suspension, I will say that. Uh, that's enough from that. Then we also got the tow rig, which I also recently redid. Not on video, though. I might just do a live stream. Where I don't, I don't make any, like, custom map things or, like, go out and play with people. Where I just, like, sit around and tune my vehicles. And make them better. I might just do that. 
But I got the tow rig, the first tow rig, basically, which I actually recently already did. Then we got the Drag Camaro, which is one of the most viewed random build series videos on my channel. This is the most viewed random builds episode, was with this Camaro. Thank y'all everybody for almost 4,000 views on that video. Actually, I think it's almost at 4,000. Like, seriously, it's close. It's closing in on it as well. It's, it's, it's recently started gaining like crazy. Then we got the uh, Monster Camper, which I also redid the doors recently, changed up a little bit of the wrap, and also added that to the back of it. And a little tip, if you're going to put wraps on this back side, prefer, prepare for them to be a little blurry, like, it, it's just weird how it has all this stuff set up, but yeah. <laughs> Then we got tomato truck. <laughs> the meme of all memes in off road outlaws. <laughs> tomato truck. Ah, tomato truck. <laughs> then we got gonna going to get you, which is one of the Halloween special editions that I did. And it was, that was a fun and crazy week. I was pumping out build episode after build episode after build episode that week. It was crazy. Then we got the F1 Cybertruck, which is was really a fan-recommended thing that I do a video on. Because of how it performed. And well, y'all got that video. And the tune was immediately messed up with an update. It was messed up a little, but it still works. I'm still figuring out the new tune. And then we got Biohazard. Probably one of my most detailed rigs to date, which was also built from the car. Well, the not car, the, uh, the Halloween editions ones, which I also got the new editions to be doing soon. Gotta get those done. Then we got my trailer. Yeah, you don't know too much about that. <laughs> yeah, it's not like you know much about that. Then we got the Willys Jeep. A.K.A. Willis. And, well, this thing is a crawling beast. I took inspiration from this from a real-life one. And I took inspiration to build this. And I did a pretty damn well job on recreating it. And if y'all scroll back in my community tab, you'll see the one that I got inspiration from. I just wish the front... It had an option where the uh, front windshield was laid down, like the real life version. That would just make it look spot on. And then, we got the first truck. The first truck I ever got on Alfred Outlaws. And I still have it. It looks so much different if you go back to my first video on it. And of course, my first video on Alfred Outlaws was a live stream. And I wouldn't even know about Alfred Outlaws right now, probably. I may have known about it now, but it would have been later down the line since I knew it last. If it wasn't for my friend, JT. <laughs> Not the JT that are in the comments. It's a different guy. It's a guy I know. know. A guy I work with every now and then as well. But this is the m first truck mud truck. <laughs> That's a weird name to have, but yeah. Then we got... Actually, this was the... When the update for the Cybertruck came out, except I've changed it a little bit since then. It was like a... Military Cybertruck theme or something? Which... I really enjoy this thing. It looks pretty good. Then... We got the Brute. <laughs> This thing, this thing just looks like it wants to destroy everything right now. It's like, okay, I'll destroy you. <laughs> then we got a Halloween van, which I am very proud of this. It, it just worked out very well. Then we got Skull Truck, which also I am very proud about. Turned out pretty well. Got the Happy Halloween. All of these right now are from the Halloween event. 
We got the Halloween trailer. Then we got a Halloween bus. Another Halloween bus. Then we got the Halloween Cat Eye Chevy, which also I think I did pretty well on. I actually added that after I made the video because I didn't see that on when I was making the video. Kind of stupid to overlook that, but yeah. Then we got the Ghostbusters. <laughs> Camino, which I redesigned my El Camino, which I still kind of miss that, but I really like this one as well. Then we got the off-road drag truck. This thing is meant for the sand dunes, I think? No, it's meant for like the dirt drags, like the real-life dirt drags and like the sand drags and stuff. That's how I built this thing, it's, and it's pretty fast. It's not, it's not slow, that's for sure. It's not the fastest thing in the world either. And also, we got a grave digger. Man, the freaking history on this thing of me building this. I spent three and a half hours working on the wrap for this thing. And in some cases, I wish I wouldn't have devoted my life to doing that that day. But I managed to get it done, and it looks very, very good. It, it basically matches it pretty well. I'd say it did a pretty good replica. Like, uh, I think I'm one of the closest to actually replicating it without buying it, that is. Without buying it, I think I'm one of the closest to actually replicating it. Yeah, that's how you say it. And also, I have not done a video on this. I want to get around to it, but I have to finish most of the car show stuff first. Then we got the race truck. And, well, I haven't really done too much with this recently, anyways. <laughs> then we got the mystery machine. You know you know everything about this if you watch cartoons. Then we got another Halloween trailer. And I think I'm starting to lose my voice right now. I've been talking for 17 minutes straight. And then a video before this that I was recording. But we got a trailer, which also worked out very well, and I put the wolves, the howling wolves on the front. I love the wolves in this game. <laughs> and then we got another car show build, which I have just the one wolf on the side, which I still gotta fix that. Then we got the Toyota Land Cruiser or something? I can't remember this one. Then we got my real life vehicle, the Toyota 4Runner I have. And this one was actually pretty cool. This one, this one was one of my funnest to build. Because I actually have one of my vehicles in the game now. <laughs> Technically. Then we got another car show build. This one was also pretty fun. It was a little challenge, which was still very fun. But I uh, got it done, and I was happy. Ooh, we approached the 50 mark. Over halfway there. <coughs> My voice is starting to go. Then we got the, uh, the sand dune car. I have no clue what I call this. I can't remember it. But the thing, the buggies are notorious for being slow. Sometimes. But I managed to make this one actually work pretty well. Then we got another real-life truck, which is a real-life Chevy that my dad used to have, but he got rid of. And this thing turned out pretty well, I'd say. Then, I know I haven't done a video on this. I think I gotta, like, change this one back or something. I don't know. I feel like I just changed that for no reason, but, yeah, okay. Then we got another trophy truck. We got the Ford trophy truck. Which, this thing was... Uh, yeah, it was a diesel. And this thing, it could accelerate out of the hole like crazy. If you were in a good reaction time against this thing, you're, you're not going to keep up on this thing on the launch. You'll keep up with it on the top end, but not the launch. Unless I messed up my tune. Then, we got the trail rig. Which, this thing is a piece of garbage. I haven't retuned this thing whatsoever. 
I'll probably be working on this sooner or later. I don't know when I'll probably rework everything on this. But, yeah. And then we got the Chevelle, I think, is what you call this. I'm not really sure, but I still need to do a build on this thing. I think this is the only field find that I haven't done a build on whatsoever yet. Kind of stupid. Then we got the Ford Mustang 302 Boss. We got the monster version of this thing. And this thing, it's just a wild ride. Then we got the uh, Bel Air that a subscriber wanted me to build. And I promised him I'd build it because of, it's in my YouTube channel banner, if you can't tell. And it wasn't mine. It's this guy's Jamie's. I can't remember the last name of it. But it's his car, and he wanted me to replicate it. And I thought I might as well, since I have it in the YouTube channel banner of mine. And that's probably the only reason. But if anyone wants theirs actually replicated, you might want to be on my Discord so you can send me a picture of it. And I'll work on doing that after I get caught up in the car shows and all that. Then we got the crappy tank, which has been nerfed in every single update possible, I think. And are the shocks blue? I thought they used to be black. I also kind of want to recreate the first tank I ever had. And one of the first crawlers I ever had as well. But then we got the Glitch Raptor Traffic Truck. Which the story on this one. I explained in the Car and Truck vs. Challenge video. That in one update. I didn't have this thing upgraded all the way. And once it switched to having all the upgrades in one category. That's what glitched this thing into being not full power. But it still keeps up pretty well. So that's the story of the Glitch Raptor. I've managed to get it actually to work pretty well. The suspension's pretty good as well too. But since it ain't got like max power, this thing has a decent grip off the line. So I can launch in two-wheel drive pretty well. Four-wheel drive, that's a different story. Then we got another car show truck. Another car show truck. <laughs> Another car show truck. The reason he's saying these by name is because I don't know their name. This one, this was a Monster Max replica, which I give him A for effort, but yeah, he could have done better. Another car show truck, another car show truck, I think. Yep, another car show truck. You also might be th seeing the Wolf logo on every single one of them. That's because I went back and put them all on all of them. Got another got a grave shovel. The top part of this one took me the longest on this one. This one was decently easy, everything else, but the top. I never knew how to do that. Then we got another car show truck. This was actually the first truck, Mud Digger. This thing was pretty cool. We got another car show truck, which I like the wolf on this one. This is actually one of my favorite car show builds, though. Still, I'd say, I think, I can't remember. But another car show, another car show, another car show, another car show, another car show. And then we got the hunting van, aka the off-roading van. We got another snow bike, which I can't remember what I built this for. We got the flag truck, which y'all helped me build in a live stream. This thing was so fun to make. Y'all are just epic. Y'all know how to put, y'all know how to request designs, and I know how to make them. We all make a good team. <laughs> then we got the Monster Jeep. And yes, it doesn't have a wolf logo. That's because I haven't gotten to every single one of my vehicles. I've gotten to a decent amount of them, though. Then we got, I think my, this was the truck I built the Monster Suspension on, but I changed it a little. I think so. I kind of want to go back and rebuild some of my old designs of most of my vehicles. I think this was the first dually that I made. Then we got the police bug, which I built when the bug came out. Which now, since they have like all these like decals, I can redo this thing and make it look good. Then we got the drag cyber truck, which I really do not like. 
This thing, it, it doesn't look too good. I kind of want to get back and redo this thing pretty quick. I want to make it look right. Then we got a Halloween bus, which I did. Not this past Halloween, but the Halloween before this last, latest one. And, well, this was the only Halloween build I did that year. And it was pretty, it was pretty well known, I'd say, on my channel. Then we got the mudding ATV. We got the tow truck that I built. I redesigned it recently as well. Still want to do some more to it. Then we got the crawler, which I did have to get some help with this on a tune. Shout out to you. I like memes. Or Shaming Davis. Thank you for helping with this. Even though I know you don't have a channel. Unless you made one since now. But I don't think you have one. Thank you anyway. Then we got the monster bus. Which is went through a lot of changes. This thing is even before rain was added. It's kind of funny. They're adding like all rain. Thunder lightning and snow. But no nighttime yet. I wonder if that's in the works, though, because, I mean, you have lights, then you have rain and lightning. Imagine, like, a midnight lightning storm on all for that loss. Then you got the truck that broke the internet, which is kind of messed up since all this. Just ignore me a little. <laughs> then we got the Sherp replica, basically, which this thing came out pretty well. I'd say, well, with all for the outlaws limitations, i say it came out pretty well. And then we got <coughs> a blown out voice. Uh, we got the 4th of July bus that I built, which was actually this year. Then we got the monster golf cart. Uh, I really like this thing. And then we got my other tow rig, which if you know Transformers, you know what I tried to replicate. And that was a long time ago before I really knew about raps. Then we got the Monster Raptor. This thing came out pretty well, I'd say. Then we got a Monster... Uh, um, Deuce is what it's called. Then we got the first vehicle that we talked about. <laughs> And that is the end of this garage tour, and that's also the end of my voice. Oh my god. I hope y'all enjoyed the garage tour vi video. Let's have a little quick roam around through the uh, Hall of Fame, see what we got coming in store for us. And while we do that, <coughs> I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'll see y'all next time. Have a great and safe rest of your day. And peace out, Wolf Army. And these are all the builds that we have to come. Bye bye.